Multiply 6 times 1 fourth. Simplify your answer and write it as a mixed number. So let's just do the multiplication. So at first, when you try to multiply 6 times 1 fourth, you'll be like, well, gee, you know, I, know how to I know how to multiply a fraction times a fraction. I know how to multiply a whole number times a whole number. But what about a whole number times a fraction? And kind of the key insight you need here is that any whole number can be written as a fraction. We can rewrite 6. We can rewrite 6 as 6 over 1, right? 6 divided by 1 is 6. 6 ones is 6. Depending on how you think about it, this is exactly the same thing as 6. So we just rewrote our whole number as a fraction. You can do that for any number. 10 is the same thing as 10 over 1. So this becomes 6 over 1 times 6 over 1 times 1 fourth times 1 fourth. And then we just multiply the fraction. So we multiply the numerators. So this is equal to 6 times 1 as our numerator. Let me do that in another color. So this becomes 6 times 1 for our numerator, and 1 times 4 for our denominator, for the number on the bottom. And so this will become 6 over 4. And right now it's just as an improper fraction. And it's also not in lowest terms. You immediately see 6 and 4 are both divisible by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. If you divide 6 by 2, and I'll do it in a new color again, you divide 6 by 2, you get 3. You di divide 4 by 2, you get 2. So this is equal to 3 halves. So it's still written as an improper fraction. We now have to write it as a mixed number. And the process for writing it as a mixed number, you just divide the, de the denominator into the numerator. So this just becomes, this just becomes 2 into 3. Divide 2 into 3. It goes, 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. You subtract. You have a remainder of 1. So this will become, so this is, this will become 1 whole, 1 whole, and 1 over 2 left over. And 1 over. So this is 1 and 1 half. So that's how I write an answer. We've just simplified the answer and wrote it as a mixed number. Or we could simplify it at this stage. We could say right here, well, look, we could divide what's eventually going to be in the numerator by 2 and get a 3 there, and divide what's eventually in the denominator by 2 and get a 2 there. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2, so it's 3 halves. And you do this exact same process, say that 3 halves is the same thing as 1 and 1 half. Either, either one of those will work. And let's think about why this makes sense. Let's think about what 6 times 1 fourth is. Let's, let's draw, let me draw 1 fourth. Let's say that that is 1 fourth right there. And let's do 6 of them. So that's 1 fourth, that's 2 fourths, that's 3 fourths, that's 4 fourths, which would be a whole. And then you have 5 fourths, and then you have 6 fourths. So this is 6 times 1 fourth, 6 times 1 fourth. This right here is 4 fourths. This right here is 4 over 4, which is equal to a 1. So this is equal to 1. And then this right here is 2 1 fourths, or this right here is 2 fourths. And you could draw, you could imagine this is 2 out of a potential if a whole has to have 2 more of them, has to have 4 of them. So this is 1 and, 1 and, let me do the same colors, 1 and, 1 and, 1 half, right? 2 out of 4 is the same thing as 1 over 2. So this right here is 1 out of a possible, out of a possible 1 and then 2. So this is 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half, which is exactly what we got before.